interview commenced 12.20 on the 15th of June 2018. DS Roxy Cassidy and Sergeant Mike Fletcher interviewing the suspect, Maxine Miniver. Maxine, could you tell us what you were doing at the Loft nightclub earlier? My husband's wake was at the Loft. His family own it, but you know that. We've got eyewitness reports that you were vandalising the property. Did you have an issue with the Donovan family? I have an issue with my husband sleeping with her! They even taped it! You know, she came round yesterday pretending that she cared about me. You even sent me flowers, didn't you? You two-faced home wrecker! Is this true? Spit it out! Tell us all how you slept with my husband while he was working for you as your informant! You got more than information out of him, didn't you? Is there any chance we can speak on our own, me and Maxine? It's not on tape. It never happened, did it? What, what do you want to know? How many times? Just the once. Where? In my car. <laughs> Classy. I'm so sorry, Maxine. I didn't go to his funeral. My husband is dead and I wasn't there because of you! Not just because of me. He was there too, if I recall. Does it make you feel better about yourself? Knowing that you took somebody else's man? He used me. He made a total fool of me, okay? Are you happy now? He used you because you were willing. I don't mean use me like that. He did it to blackmail me. Not because he wanted to. Blackmail. Adam. That's why he filmed us. He didn't want to be an informant anymore. He needed me off his case. And I was stupid. What can I say? I think he just wanted to keep you out of it. And his wife! He made bad decisions, yeah. But he never stopped loving you or trying to protect you. I think the Adam you fell in love with didn't completely disappear. The Adam I know doesn't exist. I don't know if he ever did.